Hey guys, um, as you can see now in this video, I'm gonna, we are going to start the connections. So I am going to show you how we should connect. But in order to be like, you should follow all the uh, what is in the documentation and do all of these things. But in order to check and do and see if they're right or if you get an error, as we're gonna see later, it's better to open the begin example from Transis examples begin folder and check the begin open it then here we see the connections as you can see it's not very complicated I'm gonna put tools no, window cascade so I can have both of them I think there's another uh, arrange no I think maybe tile yeah tile is perfect so we can see here all the connections so this is from the begin example as we see we see all of these connections I'm going to try to click this and then try to mm, it didn't really work okay maybe this time yeah it doesn't really work so maybe we should watch them in a table so these are the connections that we have to make here so we right click in this one let's make it bigger so right click this one start link and then go to the SC and now we're gonna start connecting them and see after we connect them then we will have to see uh, all the rest so we have here the file that has all the necessary information so let me open this so we need to connect the dry bulb temperature with the ambient temperature then as we see the total horizontal radiation with the total horizontal radiation it's pretty straightforward we just have to look here total horizontal with the total horizontal and then we are going to have to see which is uh, we're going to have to connect all of them and see what's going on so as you see here we have connected all of this according to the documentation then we close this we have here our transit file so um, now we're going to connect the solar collector with the auxiliary heating the outlet temperature is the inlet fluid temperature and the outlet flow rate the mass flow rate and this is how it goes so we're going to make also a connection oops I pressed escape now we want from the load a link to the pump to just know how much it needs how much water is needed to be pumped let me see here what are the connections for average value of function control signal okay You don't really need to understand everything at the beginning you're just going to do mechanically just to get user get familiar with the oops this link is not allowed of course not allowed we cannot link the pump with the weather data um, the outlet flow fluid rate temperature is the inlet like what comes out of the pump goes inside the uh, solar collector so as the flow rate is the same so we already have these connections just for better visualization is that okay this is just how much water I know it it's kind of confusing seeing it this way just having the load file like the let's say this is the firm that the company that gives you the water and you have here also the behavior how much is it used so it's going here 
we're going to define this how much water you are going to use and when this is the pump so here we have cold water so we are trying we try to visualize it better so we're going to to the link right click properties line we're going to change the color to blue like cold water and then apply and then here because it's been through the solar collector we're going to do exactly the same but this time we are going to make it red because this time the water is hot hopefully and yeah just for our visualization so but for example these connections because they're very confusing in the beginning when you start doing transits it's just to know that some some uh, some system this component is linked to this component and some of these parameters like in the output are linked in the input of the solar collector we also have to check here for example stuff like um, in the parameters number in series of the solar collectors is called as one we just have one solar collector and the collector area is one meter squared so we in this example is considered as just one the whole solar collector so we are not considering many many solar collectors in series or in parallel it's just consider one and you just put here how many meters squared is it I'm sure that I'm sorry I'm sure that if you have, have a look here you're gonna find many of these things one other <laughs> example is that you can change here the units for example you can change the the maximum heating rate to from kilojoule, kilojoule per hours to kilowatt and then as we see this changes the value changes automatically <laughs> okay now as we can see we can link uh, everything to our plotter so temperatures on the left axis don't worry we're going to check that in a bit and the required heating rate on the right axis and i'm going to tell you in a minute why and also we need also for example from the pump outlet fluid temperature on the left and power consumption on the right We can also uh, now I keep forgetting and I should watch the example there, but it's better this way. Okay, so what is this thing? This is an integrator and this is a printer. Well, here in this example, in our example, this is these two combined. You, it has the sigma, which is like uh, adding everything, so it's like an integrator. Not like, but it is an integrator. So we need also to connect the solar collector to the in print integrator here. Yeah, we can we can do whatever you you want. I'm just trying to see what what is connected uh, from the pump. Yeah, we did a connection here. Um, now what is left? is a connection outlet yeah it doesn't it doesn't have any sockets so what is necessary here is that okay we need we have some temperatures and some energy here and here and in the pump so, and we need to visualize it as a plot so we need to have more entries more inputs so how can we uh, how can we do something in that? We're just going to go to assembly, output manager, click the plotter, like that. We can put a graph title, let's say temperature, oops, temp 
and energy okay we should put this like minus 100 and it's even too much maybe minus 220 and I think this one needs a bit more so now we're gonna put uh, we need some more uh, some more place on the left axis and I'm gonna put 5 and 5 and then we see if they are going to be filled. One very important thing here is that if I put something here, like I connect the variable here, um, then it is very difficult to delete it and just take it to the variable three and have only three variables on axis. I'm gonna have to do the same um, job again and I'm gonna show you what I mean in a little bit. So, I want here from this one, I want the outlet, tem outlet temperature and the useful energy on the right axis. So we're going to have on the left axis the temperatures and on the right axis the energies. Okay, this is connected. This is, I think, also connected. So what a, what a cool trick is, is to make all of these, for example, everything that goes to a plotter, you can, mm, you can make the properties of the link certain, so you know that it's not a link to somewhere useful to a component like a pump, but it's just, so you can make dashed and let's say yellow, apply. And then it's yellow, I don't know if it's shown very good. We copy and then we go and make everything that's connected to a plotter on the same style. So we know that the yellow, when we see a yellow line, it's just going to an, an online plotter. And the same way we can do it here to the print integrator and make, a, let's say, green line and dashed. Okay, so. Uh, now we're going to check what does a print integrator what does a print integrator do 